Hello Cancer, I'm hoping you're doing well. We're going to go ahead and do your weekly reading for uh, November 1st through the 7th for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. The High Priest, the High Priest, wanted to come out. Taurus, Energy, we'll see. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for November 1st through the 7th. Celtic Girl Spread. What's going on with uh, Cancer? I was going to say Taurus again. <laughs> What's going on with Cancer, please? Cancer. They'll be an extended. If you guys are interested, you can find the link in the description box below. One more. Wow, the Ten of Cups. Okay. The, the overall situation is a Six of Swords. It looks like you're trying, you or whoever you're connecting, to let conflict behind. It's like transitioning a uh, period for you guys this week. Just moving into calming waters, something better. If you have gone through some type of hard time, now it's like, is this the moment where finally I can move forward? The Queen of Pentacles is coming here. So again, I'm getting something calm, you know, security, commitment. Remember, I had the High Priest also Earth sign for some of you. But it's just this, I'm, I'm getting this calming energy. I want to be well off. If this is the person uh, that you're dealing with, uh, they're coming towards you as very abundant. Someone that is uh, so happy where they are. That's what I'm getting. Prosperity, calming energy. And this is happening because, again, you have let certain disappointment, the Eight of Cups. It looks like you, uh, you are, again, Whatever you're connecting feels like, now I know what I need to leave behind. I keep getting movement for you guys. It's like, now I want to go towards the wish fulfillment. Now I want to go towards what makes me happy. In the past, the moon, Cancer, Pisces, energy. You're leaving um, any type of confusion, any type of hidden, unpredictable, elusive energy deception and lies i feel like you're leaving that behind if you have been confused you're getting out of that foggy situation it's like you know i i know now i'm i can see the queen of pentacles also that what can help you if you are the queen of pentacles is saying take care of yourself look at your uh you know what is here that pleases you uh, nurtures you it's like going outside doing things uh you know anything i i do see the queen of pentacles as a person that knows her values, puts herself first. So in order again, to take care of other people, and it does not have to be feminine um, or masculine. It's just a person that is really taking care of themselves. Now, if this is the person also that you are attracted to, they're coming towards you and they need their security. Cancer, you feel no matter what, uh, that this is a heartbreaking situation. You have the three of swords in your mind. You want to move forward, but you're still thinking that there's still pain. The King of Cups is coming towards you. Again, it's your own energy or someone here. Now we have this earth and water. And, you know, for those that have been following me, I love earth and water together. They're very nurturing towards each other. The King of Cups is coming as in love. Yes, you think heartbreak. That's not the case. The King of Cups is saying there's love, abundance, emotional fulfillment. What's going on, Cancer? Why? Look at you. You In your mind, you have the Three of Swords. In your um, attitude, you have the Ten of Swords. Man, you are in pain. And you, you that's why you have the Six of Swords. I want to move uh, forward. I want to let go of this. But you're thinking the worst. The Five of Swords is external to you. Someone here feels conflicted. Um, there's a little bit. And the Five of Swords in this one is like who has the upper hand. How someone may use this situation in their best, uh, you know, interest. There's a little bit of conflict. We're going to clarify external to you. In your home set, hopes and fears, you have the Death card. I keep getting that you feel this is over. Is this change? Is there going to be transformation? For me to move on, that means that I have to accept uh, this heartbreak or this separation from someone. 
the seven of cups is coming towards you it's so interesting because in here we have the lovers the six of pentacles the ten of cups the overall situation is someone here that you or them you want to be together with this person and you feel the connection but you feel like there's not going to happen this week the seven of cups is all these dreams and possibilities Do you think uh, it's going to be the worst? But what he's saying is that someone is still very much in love and still someone's heart is full here. The Seven of Cups, Venus in Scorpio is intense, thinking, dreaming of all of these emotions or things coming true. Let's see. Let's clarify a little bit because it's... I'm not getting that things are going to happen to you uh, bad. I'm getting that because in, this is in your mind and your attitude. What's coming here is the King of Cups full of love. I want to see how that King of Cups is going to clarify. What is this Six of Swords? One more. Yeah, you see the Chariot, Cancer Energy. It's all about moving forward. How do you move forward? It's saying this can help or stop you someone here that is taking things again as in more i need establishment i need to take care of myself as i mentioned what is this queen of pentacles that's crossing you and this movement and this you know i'm ready to move forward what is the queen of pentacles one more the emperor such a um strong energy aries taurus this is someone that is um I, i'm getting that this is a boss attitude or someone that has a home to take care of is responsible is holding on to those boundaries uh, someone that has things in order very very strong personality but very nurturing and loving i don't know for some of you if you're dealing with uh, a mature person or someone that has other responsibility what is the queen of pentacles and the emperor Please, I feel like this is someone total in control here. One more. Oops. No. One more. The Seven of Cups. That is coming to you as the best possible outcome. To me, it's like I want it all. I want my security. I want my stability. I want my structure. That's what's coming in. Someone that is fine here holding on to those boundaries and to those dreams and the desire that they have. That's what is going to help you. As I mentioned, if that's the person you love, you you uh, is saying that yes, these all possibilities are with this person. There's options and then dr and dreams coming true. The emperor is making all of those things possible. What is the eight of cups? What happened here? one more the king of wands someone was disappointed here by this king of wands i am getting a little bit or that the king of wands did not get what they wanted passionately here or someone did not act right what is this king of wands there's a lot of pride with this person come on one more yeah there was a lot of juggling back and forth back and forth and someone is like i'm done i'm not i'm not going to stay in this state of disappointment i'm walking away is because the seven of cups is your best possible outcome you might feel like someone here or you have walked away but it's saying that's not the case it's not over i'm getting it's not over there's been a lot of back and forth uh going on between you and someone else what is the the moon in the past And guys, it does not have to be about love. It can be about partnership and career and so on. One more. Hmm. The tower, I said, well, this time did not come for your cancer because it's been coming a lot this year. Did you guys uh, find out something here that shocked you or... There was always this turbulent, chaotic energy because nothing was clear. Like someone needed to open up or was holding to, to an illusion here in the past. Was holding on to certain things that, you know, in the end, they came crashing down. 
And that's why you have that three of swords because in the past there was something here that needed to be revealed though there was this shocking um I, I feel like with the foundation crumbling down something was revealed and left you more confused and now it's like you feel like i want to move after this situation what is the three of swords why you have the three of swords in your thinking One more. Oh my goodness. The Knight of Wands. There's a lot of inconsistency. I don't know if you look at someone as a player or you feel like there's not going to be action. Someone is not going to be action. Nothing is going to happen. There's not going to be movement. Or you feel like if you act impulsively here and go after a situation that is going to result in some type of heartbreak. So you're not trusting a situation here, uh, Cancer. You're not trusting this situation. What is the Three of Swords with the Knight of Wands? One more. Yeah, you, you have love, the Ace of Cups. Uh, that Three of Swords tells me that there was love. There was an opportunity of love. There was something about action that someone wanted to open up. But you're feeling like, no, it's, it's not going to happen. This is going to break my heart again. You might felt that someone here came towards you, but because this is your thoughts for, for the week, what's possible? I feel you still want to open up, but you're thinking you are not going to. What is this King of Cups, the immediate situation towards you? One more. Guys, you have love coming in, the Two of Cups. The King of Cups is coming uh, as very much in love with the Two of Cups. A union. You might be feeling heartbroken or you might feel like something else. That Ace of Cups that you want to go towards. But the immediate situation is realizing that I'm in love with this person. Or I want to be with this person. There's a connection. Why are you having the Ten of Swords in your attitude? This is your behavior, guys. One more, no. One more. You feel something that you worked, it did not give you the results. You don't want to put effort. You've given up. You feel like it's not going to work out. Why? Why? One more. Man, you're stressed. Cancer, why are you overthinking it? It's saying the situation is just to move forward to the next step, not to hold on to the situation from the past, not to hold on to the disappointment, but you're still thinking uh, that this is not going to work or there's a lot of things that need to be done before the two of you can be together. This five of swords is external to you. Someone here still wants to make things work, but there's a lot of... Uh, I feel like here, what do I have available to use in my best interest? Like there's a little bit, a person here that I don't say want to be sneaky, but does not want to be defeated. So they're looking at how can, can I, you know, be the one here to have the upper hand. What is this five of swords? One more. There's unfinished business, the world. There's no closure here with this person. There's distance and barriers. What is this? Yeah, the moon from the past. This is a person from the past. There's unfinished business. They still are lingering to that. You definitely have someone here also from the past that you have a lot of nostalgia. Someone feels a, uh, a little bit that we never had that closure. We never spoke about it. Things were left... Uh, with someone feeling like they, they took more or they used more and left this person, you know, feeling resented. I don't know if they see you as this, like, oh, I'm not your enemy. Don't feel like I'm your enemy. What is um, the death card in your hopes and fears? One more. 
well you are uh, so tired i feel like you're hoping here uh, that this heaviness just this responsibility whatever it is that you feel tired exhausted that you are going to put an end you or this person that this is enough you want transformation you want change even if it comes to closing one door you know so another one can open because you're tired of you know overthinking about it you're tired of feeling heartbroken about it you're tired of holding on to something here that is not going to give you what you want so you feel like okay what do i need do i go maybe it's uh, best to go towards this situation in, in your love maybe i should not feel like this is not my person well it's saying that there's someone here that is coming and says yes i am your person i am in love but you want uh, this ending I don't know if you fear that the person has given up. They may be, you know, completely different. But there's something about an ending, a painful ending. What is the Seven of Cups? One more. The Three of Pentacles. The possibilities of you and someone else working together, making things happen, collaboration and friendship here is your best possible outcome. What is this, please? One more. Yeah, the Page of Pentacles. There's still uh, things that are uh, being worked. You will have a few options here to decide how you want to arrange things. If this is a friendship or partnership with someone, a union between you and someone else is coming. But in the end, it's saying that you will have all these possibilities to decide that what do you want to collaborate? What do you need to decide here? The Page of Pentacles to me is someone that says, okay, I, I, I'm going to talk about it. We can start as friends or uh, there's some type of message that feels like let's have this heart to heart conversation and see where are we going with this? Which movement? Remember, there's a collaboration. You might be feeling it's over, but that's not the case. You might be feeling that the offer that you get regarding this uh, situation, career, love life. I don't, again, because I want to keep the, um, the weekly general for some of you. If you've been considering to work with someone, it's coming. There's a lot of possibilities. There's a lot of dream between the two of you. And there's an offer. In love, I think there's still a connection between the two of you. We will see what's going on in the extended. Who is coming towards you and what's happening in your love life. Thank you. Bye-bye.